All right, please take your Bibles and turn to the letter of James chapter 3. James chapter 3. Our text today is chapter 3, verse 1 to verse 18. You go, oh, no, he's doing the whole chapter. <laughs> but I think we'll get through this fine because my number of pages is much shorter than usual. All right, so this is part eight of our study, and I've titled this message, Slow to Speak, Slow to Speak. So if you remember, James told his readers in 119, he says, be quick to hear, <clears throat> slow to speak, slow to anger. So our study today is going to focus on this middle part uh, of the phrase, slow to speak. Let's pray before we begin. Father, we ask that you would open your word to us today as we study. We need to recognize that how we respond to life trials can have a very negative or a very positive effect in the body of Christ. We want to live the gospel. So we ask that you help us to guard our words. Help us to be quick to hear the gospel, to be slow to speak, slow to anger. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So our text is James chapter 3, verses 1 to 18. So let's uh, read those together if you want to follow along with me. Chapter 3, verse 1. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble in what he says, well, he's a perfect man, able to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder, whether the will of the pilot, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such, a, by such a small fire. And the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse the people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be. There's a spring 